Hello, so of course in my opinion, Godot is the best engine for solo or small team game development. And there are ways to speed up development and ways to make things easier with the use of plugins or add-ons. But the Godot community is so giving and today I want to explain to you why I think these four plugins are the absolute best for workflow and game creation here in Godot 4. So subscribe! Okay, so this first add-on will really give your game's aesthetic a major boost by basically enhancing the camera 2D node. Everyone knows how important clean, smooth, and professional camera movement is to the player experience. Experience. And well, this add-on does just that, as it takes the blank camera 2D and adds a ton of built-in movement features for you. I mean, just look at all these example scenes. These are just a few of the major functions of this enhanced camera 2D node. And the best thing about this here is all these functions you see take just a second to set up because they are all pre-built. So unlike the camera 2D, to get all these movements, it just takes a couple clicks instead of a bunch of different lines of code. So huge shout out to the creator of this amazing Godot add-on. Oh, and wait, did I forget to mention that everything gets better when you go into Godot 3D? Well, I really recommend this for any type of game you may be creating because of how easy it makes camera movement. So a plugin that isn't really well known is Gia. Now Gia is going to be either helpful or useless to you, but that just depends on what mechanics your game needs. If you're needing any type of procedural generation, then Gia will probably benefit you tremendously. Now I've been playing around with this plugin for the last couple days and let me tell you, it is incredible. I mean, just look at some of these demos in the plugin. It can be used for creating randomly generated top-down caves or dungeon-like rooms, or maybe you're looking for a platform generation like this with full-on cave systems and good-looking terrain. Or what if I'm looking to generate the full top-down view of a map? Well, guess what? You've got that as well. This works by creating a terrain set on a tile map, then loading that into the generator node that comes with the plugin, changing up a few settings to your likings, and then the result is impressive. Now you've most likely heard of Dialogic before because this is one of the most popular Godot plugins and for a very good reason because Dialogic is so helpful when needing to add in simple or complex dialog systems for your game. Dialogic adds a whole new tab to the top of your Godot project giving you everything you need to create complex storylines, NPC or player interactions, custom styles for your dialog boxes and so much more. There are so many different tutorials here on YouTube about Dialogic and it is so simple you'll get the hang of it pretty quick and learn to create dialog in a matter of just minutes. It's safe to say I'll keep using Dialogic from here on out. I've currently got a project in mind that could make use of this. So I'm able to add what looks like custom dialogue animated boxes with a complete complex storyline all organized right here in the Dialogic tab of Godot. And the last one is this to-do plugin. As you can see down here at the bottom, we have a to-do tab and we can scroll around to all our different to-dos. If we scroll down and we click on one, then we can see that it's gonna bring us to that exact spot in our script. Now let's scroll up to the settings up here or the example.gd, which is the script that comes with this plugin. Let's say we finished this to-do here. Well, we can remove it, save the screen, and you're gonna see that it disappears. But what if we wanna have another to-do? Well, we can say to-do, and maybe please subscribe. And if we click save, you're gonna see that down here, it pops up. Now we can scroll up, go to this to-do here. We can say, okay, so here we need to check the loading, but let's keep scrolling down and let's say, mm, okay, well, now we have to click on this one. Please subscribe. You go down below, you hit the subscribe button, and then you can completely remove this one here as well. And it's going to disappear from our list. Seems helpful, right? Well, that's because it really is very helpful. And I love this plugin so much, and I'm always gonna keep using this just because of how simple it is, but how important it is to keeping my game organized and getting my projects completed. Hope these plugins can bring you a bit of value. Links to all these plugins will be in the description below. And if you have any questions, then feel free to ask them in the comments. But thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, stay safe and bye-bye.